Welcome to Chase Thrift's Roadshow. I'll be your host, Chase. I'm Chase. I buy storage units at auctions with my two companions, and I show you what reality TV doesn't. Welcome to Chase Thrifts. One, a two, three. Oh, two, three. Son of a bitch. Alrighty guys, welcome back to Chase Thrifts. Today we have some interesting finds to show you from the same $120 antique unit. Um, we have some antique paintings and some antique furniture to go through and to show you guys. Uh, should be very exciting, right? Should be like an antique roadshow type deal. Uh, I try to figure out some of this furniture by watching antiques roadshow for an hour straight and I kind of wanted to gouge my eyeballs out. It was so, so boring, but there's a lot of information on there as well on the Antiques Roadshow. Let's get our nice little candles out here again because why not? It is a crisp, like 30 degrees in here today, super cold and we can warm ourselves up. Just kidding, no, I'm just kidding. Let's get started here. I have my mic a little bit lower this time um, you guys probably didn't, I don't even know if you noticed my last video, my wife got me a sweet setup for my GoPro. It's a wireless uh, lavalier mic that I can use. And I think I had a little too loud last time and I've turned it down a little bit and I put it a little bit down below. It was like right here last time and uh, I had to turn my voice down a lot. So anyways, this is the part of the uh, video series of the last nine units I got this past couple weeks in December. And uh, we're going through all the cool stuff that I found in all these units. So buckle up, we're gonna get started with here with some paintings and uh, we have some cool stuff to mix into just like last time from other units. So let's get started with paintings. All right. All right, so um, when it comes to antique paintings, and stuff like that. I am not that big into it, nor do I know a lot about it. So uh, you can see some of my paintings I have laying up around the warehouse, such as this beauty. This is from Dumb and Dumber when he's taking the, taking the shit in that bathroom. Yeah, it's a beautiful painting right there. Love it, so I hung it on my wall. Um, when it comes to these paintings, however, I don't know jack crap about them. So I'm counting on you guys. Once again, to tell me what these paintings are and what they're all about. Okay, we're gonna start with this painting right here. And I'm gonna make sure this is in view real quick. So, all right, so this is a painting. So all of these paintings right here, I'm, with, I'm getting ready to show you, came all out of the antique unit and they were very nicely wrapped um, and then in, inside of boxes. So you can kind of see, I have one that is unwrapped. They're all nice, nice tight bubble wrap with tape on them, okay? So they are valuable to someone, um, which makes me think they're more valuable than what, you know, a $20 painting would be. Okay, so starting off this one, this one says Millie Warnick, Warnick? It's a nice little uh, oil painting right there. Uh, and then on the back, there is nothing on the back. So um, I don't know if this is original, or anything like that. So, uh, but it was nicely, nicely packed up and put in the storage unit either way. Let me know down below in the comments what you guys think this painting right here should be worth and what I should put it on eBay the price at. Next up we have this one. It doesn't really look like a painting that much, but let's open it up and check her out. It's kind of a creepy little painting, honestly. Here we go. This is, I wouldn't, I wouldn't call it a painting. It's like a, I can't feel it in there, but it feels like it's stitched in. Which, that's a creepy looking uh, angel right there. I'm not gonna lie. On the back, we got, uh, it's a retail price of something. So this is not really original or anything like that. It's just a cool, somebody would like this, I think. Cross stitch knitting. Here's our next painting right here. 
And this on the back has a canvas panel right there. There's the name. It's like Reba or Rhea or something. Not entirely sure. But there you go. It's, it says it's a manufactured canvas, but someone could have painted on there. I don't see any, oh, there we go. Here is the uh, painter's mark right there. And it does say <clears throat> B-E-L-V-A, Belva. There's Belva right there. So I don't know what Belva is, but there we go. We have this painting, which looks like your everyday household. Uh, oh, looks like your everyday household cornucopia with some random fruits in there. Doesn't look anything special to me. And let's see, we have a very dark, I think it's Belva again right there. I can't read that. Bell, B A, I think it, yeah, B O L. VA, I don't know. Anyways, let me know down below what you think that's worth. 20 bucks, that's why I'd say 20 bucks. That's just me swinging out numbers. Next, we have this big mamma jamma right here. This is a uh, stitched pattern, looks like. Let me make sure this is in frame. Oh, it's not in frame. Look at that big mamma jamma. Now there is no markings on the bottom here for any kind of like artist but it is very textured up here with, obviously it's a, a canvas where they stitch through here. And some sunflowers and a little pot down there. It's a very, very nice frame too though. Let's check out the back of the frame, very nice. Yeah, I'd say, I'd say 50 bucks for this if I put it on eBay, right? This is where we get into the interesting stuff here. This one, Right here. All right. So this is a. <laughs> if you want my opinion, this is like something that hangs, hangs on Grandma's wall at home. But uh, down here is the painter's mark right there, and it says Bryn something eleven nine two four eleven nine two four. Let me know down below what this would cost or what would I charge for this one. And on the back, there's nothing really. There's some, there's some sketch markings or some numbers written there. There's some numbers written there as well. They don't mean anything to me, but uh, it's a very pretty frame though. I'm not gonna lie. Like these next couple of ones are really good frames. It's like a metal outline frame on there. right here I tried looking this one up um, I can't read the bottom of it at all it's an oil painting in a, in a nice frame as well and uh, yeah if you guys can tell me what you can see on here because I can't see it Norma L something 1955 and then you flip on the back right here actually has the plate but it's missing just enough where I cannot read it Norma L something, Farm Pond, Nebraska, 1955. So if you guys know that last name, let me know down below. I spent 20, probably 20 minutes trying to figure out what, who painted this. I can't figure it out. And the last but not least for these big paintings, I'm gonna make sure this is in the frame as well. So I thought it was really cool about this painting. And uh, well, other than the frame, frame is very nice. I keep saying that, but these frames are super nice. I usually find junk frames when I find paintings and all these units, they're always tore up and just they're plastic and crap. This is like an ornate metal. It feels, it feels like a metal frame to me. Okay, so if you focus on back here uh, on this painting right here, I would, don't focus on these guys. They're, they're running away, it looks like. Focus on the back right here on the back. Back here is a bear. He's holding a giant stick. It looks like a man that's a, that's a trapper almost with a horn and like a whip. And I can't tell if they're all running away from the bear or what is happening, but there's a bunch of little children behind the big trapper man. And that little dog 
is also barking at the bear. And I can't tell if that bear is trained or is attacking the village or you know the settlement. I don't really know, but it's very cool. I like it. I like the bear right there. Uh, I could care less about the rest of the, uh, the painting, but that's cool. So the uh, painter's mark is actually down below where I can't see it um, down here. You can kind of see half of it right there, but I can't see the rest. And then if you flip over to the back, back here, uh, there's nothing but this little tag right there. It says inspected by. It has a signature on the inspected by thing. So <clears throat> again, if you guys know what this one is, what it's called, if it's original, what it would cost, what should I appraise it for, etc., let me know down below. So this time we have another bonus round, just like the last one. These, actually, actually, these ones actually came out of the unit I found the bong, the bongs at from the last episode. So I'm gonna go through these real quick. This is a poster right here, a Cowboy Bebop, right? Yeah, Cowboy Bebop. I'm not a big anime fan myself, but yeah, pretty, pretty neat. This one's actually sold already to someone for $10. This is uh, where the scary things are. Yeah, you have like a, you have it down there. You have um, Freddy Krueger, Chucky. Yeah, all the good guys right there. All the bad guys, honestly. These are all in cardboard frames or not even in frames, they're just on cardboard. There is the Wolverine right there. I don't know if that's in frame or not for you guys, but Wolverine. This one, I can't remember exactly what, uh, it's a, uh, this one's DC, Harley Quinn and Deathstroke. And this one went to one of my friends. I, I showed him three of the Marvel ones we're seeing right now. He said, pick one for Christmas. And he picked this one, Ben. Ben picked this one. And we have the Hulk right here. The Marvel cover of a, I'm guessing a, a comic book. So, you got all those right there. We have like four or five more to show you here that I thought were pretty cool too. <clears throat> What's this one? Okay, this one's actually sold already too. Sold it for 10 or $20. So this one's called The Rat Pack. And I don't even know what movie it's from. Maybe you can guys tell me. Um, yeah, The Rat, okay. One of my favorites is right here. Ferris Bueller's Day Off, right? It's the original movie, uh, yeah poster right there. <laughs> one right here has a Goodwill tag of $5.99 on it. And oh, it's upside down. There we go. I don't know what that says. Liquor de, de dessert. Liquor dessert. Okay. But it has a big old monkey on it. I like it. Okay, so the next one right here is a big old one. And it's a lighthouse. And it has some French writing in the bottom. And in the back here, it says the Wooden Gallery from uh, Transverse City, Michigan. It says Overmeyers on it. <laughs> but uh, we'll zoom in on here. Um, I don't even want to try to say that. Jean Tricard, something or another. And on the back, you'll see it says Overmeyers. <laughs> Pearl Harbor, the movie. Look at that. I like it. I like it a lot. This one, um, I would appraise this at like 30 to 40 to 50 bucks around the, that price range um, if I sold it on eBay. It's kind of a pain in the ass to ship because they're so big. All right, that's it for the paintings. So if you guys know any of the values or anything about these paintings, comment down below. Let me know. Um, I used some of you guys' comments in the last video to actually list some of my glassware today. So thanks for helping out. So let's get on to this furniture. I'm gonna clear all this stuff out of the way and make room for furniture right here. Let's go let's do it. Welcome to Chase Thrifts Roadshow Edition. <laughs> Anyways, we're starting off with this nice mid-century dresser right here. Let's get some close-ups of this bad boy so you can see what we're talking about. This bad boy features one, two, three, four, five, and six drawers. You pull them out 
and some nice whatever that is mahogany or something I, I don't know and we look on the inside and it says Dixie right there on the side anyways that's a nice drawer I think these are double drawers right here yeah a little secret hidden double drawers push that back in these drawers should be all emptied out if they were full at all there we go there we go as you can see all the drawers work and hold on we have something in here that's hidden a norman come exclusive collection for bloomingdales oh it's pantyhose we got some pantyhose sitting down there at the very bottom before i cleaned it up just now i had listed on facebook marketplace for 125 dollars i had a few bites on it and uh, that was before i cleaned it up with all the uh, 20 years of dust and grime on there with none other than behold i had that over there in my collection of cleaning supplies and it worked just great that thing shines like a diamond so 125 dollars which honestly if i put it on ebay could get 500 dollars for if i did the freight shipping on there so what a great little dresser right there what we have next here is an amazing amazing dresser I have no idea how old it is, but it came out of that antique uh, storage unit with every other dresser you keep finding. And with just a little bit of this behold and some rubbing, it's coming out to be very, very nice. I love the wood on here. Uh, let's get a close up on the wood so you guys can see what the kind of, the, the grain of the wood is just amazing. Look how tight that grain is on this wood. It shines so nicely if you take this behold to it. There is some imperfections on this glass right here. Can't really see it with the camera. Hi. And uh, yeah, I wanna show you a little bit of what this Behold can do. Just a little bit of spray and elbow grease. This, this old Behold I had laying in there. Just spray that on there. You can kind of see up here and then down below how well this comes out. Look at the difference between that wood and then that wood. Holy cow. Let's spray it on there real quick. Let's see if you can get the match up. Oh, wow. It's changing colors already. Changes that deep whatever wood this is color. I don't know how to tell certain woods apart. I'm sorry. I'm not that great. Wow. Look at it shine shine up like it's been forgotten for all these years especially in that storage unit for 20 years look at that color difference wow before i had cleaned this up put it in some better light to take pictures i just took pictures over there in my warehouse and put it on facebook for 350 dollars had almost zero bites on it i don't think one person texted me about it it's a little rich for this neighborhood, to be honest. But um, we're going to try to put this up on eBay. Honestly, I'm going to try it. I've never really done it before with big furniture like this. There's a first for everything. Let me twirl this around and I'll show you the back end of it too. Here's a shot from the side. You can see that nice, pretty grain right there and the curves. I like the curves in the side. Now we go on the back, back here. I don't know what all that means. <laughs> it's like an old something or no, it's the old glass in there, you know? It's really, I think it's the original glass inside there. And then you go down here in the back, which is pretty, uh, I think it's pretty cool the way they put everything together right there. And in the back it says stamped from BB and Runyon F Furniture Company, Omaha, Nebraska. I looked that up and uh, yeah, they haven't been around for a long time. Okay, so here's our next dresser here. You see a theme with just dressers. I love the, uh, you know, the details on this one. I was actually just kind of wiping it off and I broke a little baby piece right there, which I glued back on really quickly. Uh, it's like a little, I don't know, it's right here. It's like a covering almost. You see a little spot fell off right there as well. 
So I'm not going to be uh, wiping this down as much as I wanted to, but the, uh, the color of it is really neat. The top is in good condition. I don't know if this is antique or not, but uh, yeah, it's a great little, great little dresser right there. Um, I would praise it at like a 200 bucks. And I'm not gonna drag it over here because I'm getting tired of dragging all these dressers over here. And you'll see there is the matching twin size bed frame with that dresser kind of sitting back here right now. Um, you see the right down here. Yeah, and it has the original slats right there and the other slats are over there. My stuff is just kind of crazy right now um, I've, when I'm moving it all. Now, since I'm running out of time and uh, space, honestly, I got that one over there. I'll show you this last piece right here, actually two pieces. Uh, there is this little antique stool right here. You can see the dust still on it from the storage unit. I have not wiped it off. And then we have a, I'd call it like a poker, round poker table with one, two, three, four chairs. Uh, I don't know how antique that is or any, if it's any value at all. Let's so go down here and look at the bottom. It's a sturdy, sturdy wood, that's for sure. Uh, don't know if that clean up at all, but there is some scuffing right there. It's probably from us moving it in the trailer. I wouldn't deny it at all. Well, that's all the time we have today for uh, Chase Thrift Antique Roadshow. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you have any suggestions of what I have, put it down below. I'd be happy to read them. But as always, it comes to an end. I'll see you guys next time. Remember, fortune favors the bold. You gotta the bold shit. Next up on Chase Thrifts. I'm here to steal the declaration of independence. Hi. Hi. Mm -hmm. How are you doing, baby?